What does that even mean, Bowers Game? Oh, hi there, YouTube. I'm back again today for another game review. And today I'm very excited to check it out. Fun at the Zoo game, Granimals for ages three plus. It's for two to four players. It'll take about, I don't know, five minutes to play. And it's from Patch Games. And then Fun at the Zoo game. This is a together we win game where everybody's gonna win. But the game also is a double sided board. So there's also a I spy find things on the back. It is Candyland esque, but is it good? Let's open it up. I'll tell you what I think about it. Oh, we're in. We're going to take a look at what you're going to get inside of Fun at the Zoo Game, Granimals. So first and foremost, we got our handy dandy rules. They are one page, uh, just black and white. The other half is Spanish, and it'll have you up and running in no time at all. It's a very simple game. So in Fun at the Zoo, you are going to be racing around the... Well, you're not going to be racing because you're everybody wins. You're going to be going around the board at the zoo in this Candyland ripoff. So let's show you how the game is played. Everybody's going to get their own unique granule. It's going to start at this nice little enter spot right here. And then on your turn, what you're going to do is you are going to draw a card and you are going to move to that corresponding color, the next one. So, yay, go to green. And then this guy's going to go, yay, he goes to red. And this guy goes, and yay, he goes to yellow. And then this guy goes, and yay, I go to purple. And then this guy goes, and he gets to red. Woohoo! And then this guy goes, and he gets, oh no, this is where we get one of the special cards in the game. You're invited to Giraffe's party. Everybody visit Giraffe and stretch really tall. So when you come to these cards, not just you, but everybody, no matter where they are on the board, is going to go to that location, and then they're going to do what's on the cards. So you might have to do a monkey dance, or you might have to stretch really tall like this one. Anywho, you are going to continue to play until everyone has crossed the finish line and everybody wins together. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's it. Uh, also, along the way, I don't think we encountered it, but there are uh, double colors as well. Now, if you flip the board over, you get a little bit more value out of this game because, hey, there's an I spy board right here where you'll be spying things down here and then finding them up on the board. And once you've done this about twice, your child will know where everything is, um, which is unfortunate. But, hey. And that, in a nutshell, is how you're going to play this, uh, this, this thing. Alrighty then, fun at the Zoo Granimals from Patch Games. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros, let's go over the cons. First, on the pro side, uh, the artwork is very nicely done. It's bright, vivid, pops out. The kids are instantly attracted to the game. Also, I like the fact that it's a double-sided board. I like the I Spy on the back of the board because, yes, you're going to find everything and then you'll know where everything is. But after that, you can just play a simple little I Spy with my little I Something Green game with your kids. And they're going to have a lot of fun with that. And I actually had a lot of kids who liked that side of the board better than the game itself. Uh, Component-wise, also very well done components. Uh, the cards are nice. Uh, nothing's flimsy. Uh, these little pieces feel very well done. Everything component-wise is nicely done. The rules, they do have one big rule question that I'd like answered, but it's not a big deal breaker. Um, I also like that when you go to various different spots, the cards make you do things like do a silly dance or roar really loud or stretch. And I like that aspect. It gets kids doing something different, and it keeps them interested in the game, which is a good thing. Also, it helps children with colors and some math concepts like you go to the second orange and that's good you know the hidden math and concepts um and the bottom line on the pros is will kids have fun with the game will young kids have fun with the game that's what we want to know yes they will you'll be bored to death but young children will have fun with the game because they don't know any better and moving on to the cons this game is garbage and before i get started just tearing this game down i want to mention something i play a lot of children's game i have a three-year-old i have a six-month-old i work with three to five-year-old children 40 hours a week i have tons and tons and tons of kids games and i love kids games and i love great kids games and this kids game is garbage so let's get to the obvious reasons first first and foremost this is a Candyland ripoff they took Candyland and they made it worse uh, by making it so that everyone wins. And I will immediately tell you, you see this? Together we win. Rip that off and sure, mail it back to Patch Games. I was going to say something a lot meaner there, but that this is a kid's game review. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. I hate that. 
everybody wins. That's stupid. It's dumb. And, and they took Candyland and, and they bastardized the game. So what they did is essentially they made it so that when you drew the special cards, that used to be something cool in Candyland. Like, if you were in last place, you always had a chance because you could draw that special card that would move you all the way to the front. Or it could knock you all the way down to the back. You're like, oh no, I got the gumdrop and I go all the way back to the back. But in this game, they stripped that away because everybody goes to the special spot. You could be one spot away from finishing... And now it's like, oh, I'm back here at the monkey pit with everybody else. And it's just, what does that teach kids? What are they trying to get across to kids? And here's the other thing. It just gets boring. Once a kid crosses the finish line, it you won. But no, you didn't win. Because now you sit here and cheer on everyone else to go get to the finish line. Unless, of course, someone draws one of the fancy cards and then everybody goes to a certain spot together and the rules don't really address it. But do you go back to that spot even though you've already exited the zoo? Does, like, your friend, you know, hit you up and be like, hey, I'm at the monkey pit, come back. And you're like, I already left the zoo. And you're like, no, come back. And then you have to keep playing the game. How does this game end? It's just, God, it's terrible. I hate you, Patch Games. I hate you so much. So, children's games. Do your research. This is not a good one. Go get something better. But if you have this game already, or if you insist on buying this game, modify the rules so that not everybody wins and just make it a clone of Candyland. Um, oh, I, 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 just, I just, I don't know what, I, I don't know how much longer I can do this. This is like my fourth patch game that I reviewed. Patch games, right there, and just. Everyone has just been god awful. How do you do it, Patch Games? How in the hell do you continuously make such terrible games? Like, just send me every single game in your catalog. And, oh, one of them has to be good, right? One of them has to be good. It's just a. Oh. I'm, I'm gonna have a mental breakdown. We're gonna have a mental breakdown. You go animals. Fun at the zoo. What do you need to know? Children will have fun with this game. You will not have fun with this game. There are numerous, there are hundreds and thousands of better children's game out there, and you could probably make a better children's game with markers and pen and paper, but it is cool because it's a double sided board, which I do like that concept. And that's all I have to say about this game. I'm done. This review is over. Don't, don't, don't click on the subscribe button. Don't post in the comments below. Just end this. End this. Ah!